Hi you guys, Amanda Larson here. I wanted to pop in and talk to you guys about earnings. So it's super important to know what you're making, right? And when to expect it. Um, well, since our company is so generous and they pay us in so many ways, I found myself having a difficult time knowing what I was going to get Monday. Because remember, it's a week in arrears which means whatever we did last week, we aren't going to get paid till not the Monday after the weekends, but the following Monday. So I created a Trello board to help me figure out what I'm making when and to help me track. So you'll see I have November, December. Now this card isn't filled out, but here is what I'm keeping track of. So I'm keeping track of PIBs, double PIBs, cycles, consultant bonuses, rank advancements, daily pay, and then what I should be, um, as far as daily pay, when I'm getting that money, and then what I'll be paid on the following Monday. So week in arrears. So here's the cool thing is if I go in, I can I'm on the app, so I can click the three buttons at the top, and I'm going to just copy this card, and um, I want to put it in December, but I want to put in the following week dates, so it would be um, 12, 3 to 12, 9, and we'll just copy it. So now you'll see I have these two cards. So what's great is you can go in at a month's glance and you can set up your whole entire month because this is the last week of the month so we should really start be, being intentional and planning our time for the following month. So we'll set up our month. We'll just make sure it looks good. 12. 23. And then we'll do the last. Oops, I don't want to move. And we'll copy 12, 24, 2, 12, 30. Okay, so what's great is now I have my whole month of December set up, and you'll see I do have a sample week here. So if I need to um, a blank card to copy, I have it right there. But what we're gonna do is let's say this is this week, and as we go, you can come in here and say I earned a twenty-five dollar pib yesterday for Cyber Monday. Um, let's just say we had double pibs this week. So our PIBs were 200 because we helped two value packs. Our double PIBs would be 200. Let's say our cycles are 17. Well, let's just say 10 because that's easy to calculate. And let's say we had helped two consultants in that first 20. So that would be 200. And then um, we got a five cycle or we got our first one star advancement. So here's what's great is that's a lot of ways to get paid, right? And daily pay, we know that we get paid from the value pack the very next day. So we would say um, we got the 200 from the value, just so we remember w what it is, let's say times two. Um, we got that on, let's say today, 11... 27 because we helped um, two people yesterday Cyber Monday start with a value pack um, <clears throat> well that wouldn't really make sense but let's just say it's the end of the week it's 12 2 and we're filling this out so we know what we did for the week so 10 cycles is going to be um, $540 So we know that if we do 200 plus 200 plus 540 plus 200 plus 500, that's $1,640 total that we ha would have made for the week. So I like to put that up here so that at a glance I can add up what I made for the month and to make sure that I am increasing month over month in income. But we know that we wouldn't get that on the 10th because we already got $200 from the value packs for the daily pay. So we would put in 
1440. And if you're confused about cycles, double pibs, consultant bonuses, rank advancement bonuses, um, and daily pay, I have some really great YouTube videos on the Isogenics compensation plan that you can go take a look at to really help break it down what it looks like and when you earn that income. Um, now this doesn't track pool money, so that would be a whole nother Trello board or tracking, but this will track everything um, daily and weekly. So now we know that we should expect 1440 on the 10th. These are just made up numbers, by the way. But what's great is now when I go out to my board, I can see that I will have made 1640 this week. And when I go in, um, let's say on 12-9, I can say, okay, great. I'm going to get paid 1440 tomorrow. What bills can I pay? Where am I going to put that? Like allotment wise, what does that look like? And here's what's amazing too. For tracking purposes, you could also do taxes down here. And you could say um, whatever you, you know, went, maybe you do um, 11, 27, um, lunch with Kelly, $11.65. Or you could say um, 11, 30, uh, cent, $10, congrats. Starbucks card to Andrea. Whatever you did. So you can keep track of what you're making. You can keep track of your expenses for the week. And that way you can really see like what you're making um, after expenses, which is pretty cool. So um, I, you guys know I love Trello. So this for me is a great way to track my income, track some of my expenses and just see where I'm at. I am just starting this process, but I'm super excited for December to happen and for me to be able to see. Um, you could also in here, if you are playing in the pools, you could also come in here and put a pool benchmark. If you didn't want to do a new board, you could do pool benchmark and um, you could put your cycle benchmark. And then you could also um, say at the end of the week, um, you hit 10, so you are plus three for the week and cycles. And then that way you can come back and see at a glance very quickly where you're at as far as cycles for the month um, to your benchmark for pool money. So if you have any questions, make sure you comment below. If you are loving Trello, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. If there's anything that you would love to see, um, you can send me an email or um, comment below and I would love to um, show you how it's done. So thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon.